Hello, true believers. Welcome to another episode of Marvel Draw. I am your host, Brian Crosby, creative director at Marvel. And today we're gonna be drawing the first Avenger, Captain America. I'm gonna start off with a blue colored pencil and I use this for my underdrawing. And then I'm going to be using a standard darker pencil, uh, a B if you wanna get technical, size B, lead weight. And that's to do kind of the details and the, the black lines. And then to do the outlines and the shadows, I'm gonna be using a 6B, uh, a little bit of a heavier lead. But again, of course, you can use whatever you have around the house. You can use crayons, markers, whatever it is that you have. The point is to have fun and to learn how to draw cap. Whenever I'm drawing a humanoid character, I always start with a circle. Try and break it down into basic shapes. And then I'm gonna do a center line. So Captain America is gonna be looking straight at us here. And now I'm gonna do his jawline, his chin. So when if you've seen me draw um, Spider-Man or uh, Groot or Captain Marvel, you notice I, I made their jawlines a little bit thinner. But Captain America, he's got that big heavy jawline, a bit more angular. So I like to make his jaw a bit thicker. So now we're gonna take our center line and we're gonna go all the way down from the top of the line to the chin, just like that. Now we're gonna do the eye line. Now the eye line I like to make about in the center, because technically your eyeballs sit uh, in the middle of your head. What also I can use that eye line for is determining where the ears are gonna go, because the ears actually sit along that eye line as well. So for the ears, I'm gonna do these kind of backward, I'm gonna do a backward C shape for that one and a regular kind of elongated C shape for his ear. Okay, and we'll put more detail in that later, but that helps us know what those ears are gonna look like. And then to finish out the head form, so you notice I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge of my circle, but I'm gonna take that jawline and go all the way up and create that head shape for Cap. Now where the nose line is gonna be, so you, we're gonna use our circle again, so that nose is gonna sit right about at the base. So I'm just gonna make a little notch there so I know where the nose is gonna go. And then about, eh, about two thirds up from the bottom of the chin is gonna be his mouth. At this point, you just make it as a line. Now, halfway in between the center line and the eye line, I'm gonna make a curved line that comes down to the eye line on both sides. And that's gonna help us with uh, our Captain America mask. So now I'm gonna draw the eyes. So I'm gonna go back to my eye line. And I'm gonna make the kind of like an elongated rectangle. And lots of artists will draw their eyes differently. This is just how I do it. So kind of like that. I'm gonna do that on both sides. Maybe angle down a little bit, make them look a little bit more, uh, I don't wanna say angry, but a little bit more determined. He is Captain America after all. And now for the nose, I'm gonna make a little circle in the middle. That's gonna be the point of his nose. So underneath the nose, gonna go up and down, right there and around, and then create the edge of his nostril. And then another curved line on the other side, just like that. Okay, and we can come back in and we can put more details later, but uh, for now, that's basically what his nose is gonna look like. Now for his mouth, for a male character, I usually just make it as a, as a line. You can put a slight, maybe a slight smirk on Captain America so he doesn't look too angry or aggressive. And then a, a lower lip line underneath, just like that. I'm gonna give some shape to that chin. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is now we're gonna draw in that mask shape. Okay, so we're gonna start at the bridge of the nose, just a notch there, and then it comes down follows the eye line and back up towards his ear. Pretty simple. So down and back up towards the ear. Now we're gonna do the, uh, the eye holes and these are kind of like diamond shapes. So we're gonna follow that eye line. We're gonna use the top of the eye as the top of our, of our diamond shaped uh, eye hole here. And it comes to a point. And then we echo that same line that we made before. and connect it. So you see that diamond shape? Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side.
Now we're gonna do some detail on these ears. So we're gonna bring them in a little bit. And ears are, are actually pretty simple too. You can, you can accomplish a lot by doing very little. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a nub right there and then connect that and go back and around, around the edge of the ear. And you got a pretty convincing ear shape. So a little nub, go back up and around, a little bit of inside business there. And then we've got a decent ear for Captain America there. And of course, it does take practice. You'll get the hang of it. All right, now we're gonna do the uh, the chin strap. So we're gonna follow that, that great jawline that we did for Cap. I'm gonna follow right down and around. And we're gonna kind of come up and back down. Kind of square that off, just like that. So he's got that chin strap. The other thing I like to do is a little buckle up here for the chin strap. And that, this is the bottom of his chin, kind of comes out like that. Now that line we made at the very beginning, that's gonna be a little bit of a ridge for us. So that's the, that's the edge of his helmet right there. So I'll make another one here. See, it's not quite even, so I'm gonna fix that. So it's the same on both sides. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna use the brow line. So I like to give him a little bit of aggression, a little bit of determination in that brow line and define it just like that. So I'm not going crazy. I'm not making him look too angry, but that brow line is very helpful for what we're gonna do next, which is his signature A uh, right here on his forehead. So we're gonna draw a nice big A notch up there and come back down to that brow line. Okay, you see where we're going with that? And then we're gonna do the bottom part. Come up, go over. Okay, now we're gonna do the inside. So here's that bottom of that cross. Take it up to the center line on both sides to a point. I think I'm gonna give him a little bit of a cheekbone here to find that jaw a little better. You can do that. If you look at a lot of the classic superheroes, they have those real strong cheekbones. And now we're gonna make the signature wings. So we're gonna go kind of that modern look. So it's gonna be more embedded into the helmet. So the first part you make is the top. And there are actually three parts. So there's the top. You can see that I'm still following that brow line for the edge of that wing. And there's one, and now there's two, and then three. Okay, so three parts of the wing. Now here's our, our brow line over there. And we're gonna go all the way up, and then come back. There's one, two, and three. And lastly, before we move on to our, our, uh, our darker pencils, are his eyes. So he has open open eyeballs here. You can see his eyes very clearly. He's got great visibility. So the eyes I make by putting a circle inside, or kind of a cropped circle inside there. Well, Steve Rogers has those, those blue eyes. And so a great way to do blue eyes is just to go in and do the, the dark pupil. That can look a little intense just with the pupil. So I put a little bit of a shadow on the top and then I'll put highlights later on in color on the eyes. Okay, so there's our underdrawing for Captain America. So now we're gonna go in with our darker pencil with my B pencil and I'm gonna do the black lines on Cap. I'm going to start on the right side and I'm really just going over the line work that I already made. Just committing to it a little bit better. There's the bottom of his chin. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of color that in. I'm gonna do his mask or his helmet. All right, now we're gonna do that nose. 
I'm just gonna put a little bit of definition on the end of his nose there. I'm gonna do his mouth. I'm gonna put a little bit of a shadow underneath his nose and maybe a little bit of hatching there. His cap's coming together pretty good. Hope yours are coming together great as well. You guys should get creative. I can't wait to see what you guys do. So there's the outside of the eye hole. You can maybe put a little bit of a shadow underneath that. Creates a little bit of depth. I'm gonna finish off his eye. I like to put a little bit of a suggestion of, of an eyelid. I'm gonna do that cropped circle for the inside, along with the pupil. I'm gonna come up and do this wing. I'm gonna create that ridge. I'm gonna do the top of that head. Come down with his brow line. And I'm gonna do that A, signature A for America. I mentioned the 6B pencil. So now I'm gonna put my B aside and go into my 6B, my darker lead. And so now I'm gonna really do a lot of the shading that's gonna polish off the drawing and make it complete. I always like to do a, a nice outline around my characters. I think it helps them kind of pop off the page a little bit. And while I'm doing that, I'll find some of the, the darker areas to complete or push anything into the, the foreground. So you notice that helmet is actually in front of his ear. Okay, before I go over to that side, I'm gonna do the shading on this side so you can see how I like to do this, okay? So I like to fill in the bulk of what's on the other side of that ridge in shadow because the, the light's gonna be coming from up here, from the top. Make a little bit of a ridge there and follow that, that ridge all the way around. I'm gonna use the outside of that eye hole as a guide Come down to the cheekbone. And this is all gonna be in black. Maybe use a little, leave a little bit of rim lighting there. So I don't go all the way to the edge. This is all dark, okay? And I'll use this line here. Create another little piece of shadow underneath his eye. Underneath that eye hole there. And then underneath his brow, and along the side as well, I'll do in shadow. So just like that. And I'll probably take this line that I made here along the top of his head and bring it just beyond. Creates a little bit of dimensionality. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. So I'll do that bridge of his nose and the inside of his eye. Create a little bit of rim lighting I'm gonna finish my outline all the way around. Almost forgot the top part here, so I want that to match. Now sometimes I'll go back to my B and I'll do a little bit of hatching on some of these areas. Help soften that shadow, it's not quite as harsh. And there you go, there is Captain America. Now, of course, you know, if you've ever watched any of our Marvel Draw tutorials, you always got to sign your name at the end. That really helps make it yours. So I'm going to put my name right down here in the corner. Brian Crosby. That means it's yours and yours alone. You did it. So I hope you guys had fun learning how to draw Captain America today. We'll see you next time. And remember, this is Marvel, your universe.